nine Dublin. Yay! Everything's already so nice to me. I know, look, you don't like the weather, but I love it. This weather is like perfect. It smells so nice too, the air. The air does smell very fresh. Okay guys, so we're finally in Dublin and I don't know, Devin thinks it's because I'm sleep deprived, but I'm like so happy to be here right now. I've been wanting to be here since I watched that. <laughs> You're nasty. It's okay, I forgive you. I've been wanting to watch, I mean, I've been wanting to come to Dublin since one, I watched. Yes, since Niall, and two, since the movie. Baby, you light up my world like nobody else. Two, since the that movie Leap Year with Amy Adams. The way that you flip your hair gets me overwhelmed. Sorry for the bad lighting. Yeah. That happened. Okay, and um. <laughs> I turned on the faucet really fast, I guess, and it all went into the cup and then came back. <laughs> <laughs> I know that happens. That, that's happened to me before. Like when I'm washing a spoon or something, and it just like flashes back at you. You're yeah, like, oh no! That's basically, what happened when I was ten. I'm drowning. <laughs> and so, um, anyway, what else? So I'm like ex so excited to be in Dublin. And then our driver is the only Irish person we've met so far that actually has an accent, and his accent is so adorable. I love Irish accents. You can take mine. Okay. I freaking love Irish accents. They're so <laughs> cute. Wow. So cute! I, I, hate your, I hate your face. So cute. I love your shots. You can have all the pillows. Yes. All the pillows. Even though you're being really mean to me right now. <laughs> I hate you. What are you doing? You're going to watch movies? Kill Bill. Oh. Kill Bill. Anyway. You don't even let me finish a thought. Gosh, Devin. Something about oh yeah, our driver's it's accent. It's too dark on your face. This <laughs> technique supposed to be like this. The light is supposed to be against me, but I didn't feel like. Oh here, I don't even have to hold it. Oh no, that's too. Yeah, no, I don't think this is gonna work. Can you see me? Can you even hear me? It's okay. So um, I keep losing my train of thought because of you, Devin. <laughs> I love Irish accents. They're like better than British accents sometimes, in my opinion. Um, and then we're going on a tour after we eat at 12. So, yeah, that's it. Oh, and then at night we're doing like an Irish night. What is that even? I don't even know what it's called, but they'll do like Celtic music and dancing and stuff like that, which is going to be kind of exciting because I've never seen that before and I'm curious. Time to learn about new cultures and new experiences, right? Alright, I'm sleep deprived. I've been like half asleep this whole day, so. Alright, well, goodbye guys. Look at this beautiful weather. You might not like it, but I enjoy it. Devin hates it, if it makes you feel better. See ya! Long room is so cool. We're at Trinity College Library in Dublin. And it's just so big. Look how they organized it. Look, there's Melton. Plato. <coughs> and Socrates. No, it's like Socrates, but I can't read it from on the screen. But it says Plato on that one. And Aristotle, Sericio, yeah, Newton, Locke. This is so nice. Oh, look, a second floor. I didn't even notice it. Do you think Taylor's was related to Locke? What? <laughs> no. I mean, I really like it. I should take a picture. D Swift. Taylor Swift. I thought you were trying to like talk about someone's hair or something, and I was like, "What are you talking Let me about?" Take a picture of the three of you in the yeah, Doctor Gilbert, who's that? I don't know who this guy. This guy doesn't deserve to be
His name's Connor, right? Yeah. I love you, Connor. <laughs> Sum up in a couple of power bullet points is we landed in Dublin in one piece. I was like half asleep. My eyes are still pink from basically the beginning of this trip. As pink as my sweater. Um, uh, we went around Dublin, the city, just kind of back and forth. Not we didn't go everywhere. We passed by Trinity College. Mm. I bought this sweater. I went to uh, the Book of Kells in Trinity College. They have like a Book of Kells section exhibit. And then, what else? And then we kind of walked around a little bit more. And then, oh yeah, I ate food, but that's a, that obviously. And then uh, we had free time. Oh, before we had free time, we went to the museum and we saw, I can't remember the name for it, but it's like these humans I'm drawing like a complete blank. Doug. Hey, do you remember what those thingies with the mummies were called? The what? The thing with the mummies. The bog bodies? There you go. Thank you. The bog bodies. So, like, they, they were found in, like, a bog, so they were, like, sort of preserved. It was really weird. The first one looked like a bunch of leaves. It was really, I don't know. I don't, it wasn't, like, terrifying. Like, it wasn't scary, but it was just, like, odd. Like, I couldn't comprehend that those were humans before. It was just, like, whoa. How does, like, how does life work? That's, like, I'm not going to say amazing, like, because that sounds terrifying. But, like, it's amazing in the sense that those bodies were preserved just, like, preserved and we weren't even trying and some people believe it was they died a sacrificial death you know like sacrificing like the um aztecs but then some believe it was like oh i fell and i died so no one can know for sure i guess maybe scientists will figure it out in a couple of years and then we dispersed and chevy bought a luggage because hers that she brought in the first place is sort of like ripping and she's worried that on our way back, it will have torn and her clothes will just be everywhere. Um, so she bought a luggage, and when she bought a luggage, I bought a backpack. Yay! It's an upgrade from this cute thing I bought, but of course, Ross failed me. It like $15, and it's already a waste. Waste of a $15. Stupid thing. These always come off, okay, guys? My recommendation, unless you're carrying like a phone in these things and maybe diapers, because diapers are pretty light unless you put too many, like don't get these bags because I put what? I put my phone, I put basically all of this, what you see on the table, maybe a little bit more because I had a book. I had my Red red Queen book in there and I didn't have candy. Oh, I bought candy on this while we were separated. Auntie Nellie's Sweet Shop. The candy's pretty interesting. I can't remember what the ropes, the names of the ropes, but this is probably the most exciting thing I bought. Wonka bar. Yeah. I don't think I'm eating it anytime soon. Probably eat it with my sister. I'm sure she'll love that. Um, I tried to save the fudge, but I didn't have anything to keep it safe, and so it, it got, like, hard and gross, and I don't want to get sick when I eat it at home, so I just figured I had to throw it away. I didn't want to. The, the chocolate one was good. The caramel one... Like, the brown sugar one was just a little too intense for me. I don't know. Like, their brown sugar, I don't know. It's, like, really sweet. Like, obviously, the brown sugar is always sweet, but I don't know. There's something about it in, in England that they put in it that I just, I don't have in America. Um, but, like I was saying, this is what I had in my brown bag, including the camera I'm currently filming with and my phone. And that was about it, right? I, I had a pack of underwear and um, something else just because... In case my luggage got lost. 
You already showered? No, I'm not gonna shower. I'm too tired. Oh, okay. In case, in case my uh, luggage got lost, so that's why I put it in there. But it's not that much. At least I don't think it is. But it still like popped my bag. I was really upset. So that happened. And then I've been walking around with a broken bag this whole trip. And I bought this one today, even though I only have two more days. But it's nice and spacious. Hopefully it'll fit everything I needed to fit. So far, the front part compartment fits like everything I fit in the front compartments of my brown bag. Like my womenly needs, emergency headphones, hand sanitizer, my card for elephant pants since I'm an ambassador who like whenever I wear pants and people compliment it I'm like oh you guys should buy some they're really cheap and they're when you buy a pair a dollar goes to wildlife for elephant preservation which is true I'm not saying it like lies it's true it's pretty great I love elephant pants I wear them like on flights because they're so comfy with a bunch of leggings and with leggings underneath it's the best thing ever anyway that's about all we did. Oh, and then we went to like an Irish, an Irish thingy majigger. It was like Irish night. It was really cool. They were singing and dancing, and I liked it. I liked it. If you've watched Leap Year, that's basically the kind of music they had. Okay, I'm like obsessed with Leap Year. Okay, don't judge me, Devin. I I've been craving to watch Leap Year ever since I came to Dublin. Now, and you've only been here for like what ten hours. I already want to go watch Leap Year again. If I don't watch it now, I'll watch it at home. I want to watch Leap Year, and I wanted to watch something else since we got here. Not, like, here in Dublin, but since London. Can't remember what. I'll figure it out. Alrighty, boys and girls. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm so tired. I'm going to pray and sleep. Mwah. Good night, y'all.